the grace of God, my name is Sister Wando Ngozi from one group of districts in Enugu. I am here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. By this crusade, I actually told God that this crusade is for me. So I told God that I need many areas in my life he need to touch. By the grace of God, he did so. But for now, I'm going to testify about two of them. Praise the Lord! The first one is, the Lord touched my eyes. I'm the one that cannot read without glasses, especially inside room like this or in the night under electricity. Sometimes I can receive call without my glass. I cannot know the number or the name of the person that called me. I cannot sometimes have and it for reading my Bible. But the first day, as the man of God said, touch every area that you need the touch of God. I touched, I was touching every part of, I need the touch of God. Actually, as Father, I put my hand on my eyes. I said, God, I, I want to stop reading without glass. Sometimes I will be turning by before I will put my glass, the Bible passage I will finish. Praise the Lord! I found out on Friday, I didn't even remember to bring out my eyeglass when we are called even to go and do counseling. I found out that the person I'm helping to write, I was able to write without my glass. Praise the Lord! Which I cannot do before without my eyeglass. I need to put my eyeglass. But that night of Friday after the prayer, I noticed that I can be able to write the name, even the number the person was calling for me to write that is his uh, phone number. After that, I went inside the hostel. I was able to read my Bible. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Another one, the area that God touched me, before we come for this retreat, about two weeks ago, I started having chest pain. Seriously to bend down, to carry something was difficult. But I was managing. Even when we are called that we are going to cook yesterday in the kitchen, I raised up my hand with faith. And when we came, I was able to join even in the cooking, all the pain vanished. Praise the Lord. The Lord that did it for me will also do for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. That is double portion. Eye problem cleared and he could now read without eye glasses. Chest pain gone. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Shuku Grace. I'm from Ebony State, Ishiago. I came down to Enugu on Saturday. On three years now, I've been having this problem. I have this location on my left leg. That dislocation that I have has been disturbing me for good three years now. I've been having this problem that in a way that if I want to walk, the thing will be paining me. On Friday, the problem started. When I was going to church, I told my mother, see, the problem is getting too hard for me. She said, believe God that today your problem is over. I came to here, yeah, I come to Enugu on Saturday. On Sunday, God healed me. Praise the Lord. I have a sound on my left leg, and that is that pain vanish away. Praise the Lord. Daddy, you are welcome. Put your hands together for Jesus. Her pains on the knees vanished away. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Virginia Obodo. I'm from Kano region. I'm having frequent urinating at night, about five or six times before daybreak. Then I went to the doctor. The doctor tested me. I said, what is that? I said that it is a, a bacteria. I said, what type of bacteria? He never is there another name. But after medication, no again. Not until I come into this divine thought crusade on Saturday evening. My pastor prayed. 
after praying, saying, flush out, crush out, flush away, flush away, flush away. I say, yes, it is done. Since that time, I'm healed in Jesus' name. May God be glorified in Jesus' name. Put your hand together for Jesus. She has bacteria infection that have troubled her for some time. And she will be going, you know, frequent urine during the night. But Church on pray. Friday, after the Jesus prayed and said, flush out, bacteria was flushed out. And your sickness has been flushed out. I say your problem is flushed out. The next testifier. Church, praise the Lord. I'm by name, Emmanuel H.G. Ozoma. This is my testimony. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided Amen. to follow Jesus. Thank you, thank no you. No turning back, no turning back. Don't know what. Now you can now tell us your testimony. What's your name? Okay, I'm my name is Emmanuel A.G.K. Ozama. The next testifier. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Chile Bere Aja. I'm here in Enugu, the capital city of the Eastern Region. I want to testify to the goodness of God about the healing of, that I received on Saturday when the God's general was announcing the miracle on the air that everybody should lay hands where the problem is hitting you. And I lay my hands the particular place because over nine months now, I could not be able to drink cold water because of toothache. And another one is that I cannot read long. If I'm reading, it's like something is covering my eye. So after the servant of God prayed that night, something happened. I received some, uh, some touch, but I don't know what it is, but inside of me there was excitement. But when I got home, then I was able to discover that I can read when I do my devotion. And uh, I was able to read beyond the limits uh, I couldn't be able to do before. That was when I know that something has happened. And I want to return all the glory to God who have done this. I say may his name be praised in the name of Jesus. I want to tell the whole world that Jesus is in deeper life. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Keith Ifan. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. My dear, holy mom, I don't know how to say it, but God do a miracle thing for me. Since 2013 that I give birth to my daughter, he has been a bedwetting. I used to put pampas in his body. He used to use pampas and be going to school. Wherever we are going, he used to use pampas. I have gone to hospital. They check all his body. They do scan. They do see everything. But God do it for me here. Being on Sunday, my daughter just... They, the time, the, the time that the man of God finished, finished praying, he said, shake all your body. Shake all your body. So my daughter just touched his body. Touched everywhere. He didn't see anything. He said, mommy, my body is dry. I'm not bedwetting again. He said, I asked her, is it true? He said, yes. Reach in the morning, being on Monday. He said, saying the same thing. I want to go and give testimony. God has healed me. That is why I come to testify the name. Praise Put your hands together for Jesus. God took away 
bedwetting. Now she is free from bedwetting. And if that is your problem as an adult, tonight you are free. We take the last testifier for tonight before the choir comes up. Praise the Lord! Brother, my name is Odema Sebastian. I'm from Nike region. My testimony goes like this. Since, since to eight months now, I've been suffering from urinary tract. On Thursday, I came here, believing God. After the prayer, nothing happened. I went back. And when I went back, I come to see that another problem entered in my left toe. It was just swelling. On Friday, I came here. Nothing happened. On Saturday, I came in the morning and lie down here. To my greatest surprise, yesterday, when we came here, the last prayer here, I come to see that everything, all the problems are over. Praise the Lord. All the problems are. All your problems are. Oh, listen to a clip, then the choir. In a world where everyone seems busy, neglecting the master's duty, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Sadly, this command is no longer the nature of the saved who've been asked to bring others to the knowledge of the truth. Smart Connects, Smart Connects, Smart Connects is a training that will reconnect workers in God's vineyard to focus on evangelism. Coming up on the 4th of September, 2 p.m. prompt. You don't want to miss the golden opportunity of reaching the world through digital evangelism. Get connected to connect others. Do it now.